This is Matt Reardon. I'm covering a piece on everything that happened involving Communicare. Situated right behind me is the Lafayette County Circuit Court. On December the 6th, 2021, I discovered records for the second time being fraudulently altered out of Lafayette County Circuit Clerk's office. The day after all this happened, Sheriff Joey East tendered over lies to an employee of Communicare by the name of Rachel Alcorn, who then filed a affidavit based on the false information that was given. Fast forward the tape to February 9th. As you'll see, I was at the Lafayette County Sheriff's Department digging in to the financial report, trying to get the financial report for the Lafayette County Law Enforcement Officers Association, which was co-founded by Sheriff Joey East as well as Deputy Sheriff Scott Mills. The day after asking for this information, which I was told it would take approximately a week to a week and a half to get, I was fraudulently committed for the second time by Communicare. This is Matt Reardon, and I'm standing over here at the Lafayette County Sheriff's Department. Wednesday, February 9th, I came up here to the Sheriff's Department to inquire on a couple of matters. First one being the Lafayette County Law Enforcement Officers Association, co-founded by Sheriff Joey East and Deputy Sheriff Scott Mills. This 501c3 nonprofit organization has been in business for approximately 20 years. I asked for the financial reports, the financial data on this nonprofit organization just to check it for erroneous errors and make sure that there is no funny business going on among the local law enforcement here in Oxford, Mississippi, particularly Sheriff Joey East. Approximately 2.45 in the afternoon was whenever I came up here on the night, spoke to Joey East and Scott Mills. I was told it would take about approximately a week, week and a half to get those records. However, the following day, I was again committed by Communicare, who I've been told that Sheriff Joey East has familial ties with. I think the Lafayette County Sheriff has a couple of questions that he needs to answer. A little bit more than a coincidence that on two separate occasions, the day after certain information is sought, I end up getting committed courtesy of Communicare. Reardon, what's happening? What's going on? Not much. What you doing? I got some questions for you. I ain't got no time for you today. I got a question. I'll walk with you. No, I don't want you to. So, uh, Lafayette County Law Enforcement Officers Association. How do I go about getting the, uh, the contributions? The, uh, the financial report of it? You have to talk to the president. That would be you. You and Scott Mills are the incorporators. Not the president. Well, y'all are, you're an incorporator. Um, also, being at the, the uh, U.S. Attorney's Office, they still have y'all's investigation open on the drone. How is it that y'all have jurisdiction and they have jurisdiction? Would that not, first of all, y'all are out of jurisdiction, but, but second of all, would that not equate to double jeopardy even if y'all were to pursue it and they were? So that's a ploy to, to hold on to those public records, hold on to that body cam and to the officer reports that are requested back in September. I need those, Sheriff. I'd like some answers to it because there's no excuse in that. It's uncalled for. Association. Or the what? The importers. Okay, go ahead. Y'all started. We helped start it. Y'all well, y'all both this partner went in, I believe with Jeff Davis. It's just like a, it was a bunch of law enforcement officers. Yeah. How do I go about getting a uh, financial statement of it's a it's a non profit, so that should be publicly divulgable. I right, we can get you one. Okay. Um, also, I spoke with the US Attorney's Office yesterday. And um, at my surprise, um, apparently it is still open over there on the um, drone I, I thought it was closed out. And like I, like I said, I've taken a test with the FAA. 
when the FAA tells me that I'm a hobbyist and uh, I was simply taking the drone up for the seven-year-old that was All right, with me. Hey, we got another. Yeah, Go I want to know. I want to know how they are the proper authorities. How y'all can have cross jurisdiction and keep your own investigation open into the same matter when y'all don't even maintain the jurisdictional authority in the first place uh, to prosecute me for that and potentially me face prosecution by the U.S. Attorney's Office would leave me open to double jeopardy, as you know. And all right, you can't you I, can't prosecute. I'm me not right, discussing all right. that. You won't ask me anything else. Yeah, I need to get the. Once again, I want to reassert that, that back at the end of September, I requested the body cam and the officer reports of the uh, deputies that were on scene. That shouldn't be a very difficult report or for request what, to, to fulfill. For which incident? For the drone incident. Uh, that's for, all part of this. It's all part of the same thing. Well, I understand that, but that's that's what I'm saying. I'm saying that since they have it open, y'all are leaving it open simply to obstruct and and not comply with, with okay. that request. Anything that is a basic request. Anything else you want to ask? That's a basic request. Anything else you want to ask? How is it that y'all can have something open okay. and they can I'm have done. something? I see. You. Have a good day. How do I get that financial statement? We will get it then just to check back about the middle of next week. Takes that long to get it? Sure. Takes that long to doctor it up, huh? They weren't taking appointments then, so never mind. Thank you. This is Matt Reardon. I wanted to document this live on Facebook for the second time. Lafayette County Sheriff's Department pulls into my driveway with another mental writ. Apparently this time signed by Communicare, again, after the first fraudulent commitment that happened December 6th, or, or December 7th, which stemmed directly from me finding Lafayette County Circuit Court fraudulently changing records for the second time in a year, based on lies, pure lies, that stem from the Lafayette County Sheriff Joey East. The most ridiculous of lies. My wife just got out of the hospital and we can't even live in peace without constant harassment. This would clearly be the other one, probably. Look at this. Facebook Live. They pull into the driveway, light it up with blue lights, wake up the dogs, wake up the kids. Somebody has got to put a stop to this. This is nonsense. It's bullshit. No, you know what's going on. We got the rear. Joe, this is this is crazy. We just got out of the hospital. Y'all will not stop fucking with me. You didn't go get your treatment. Like, Bullshit! Treatment. I did. No, you didn't. How? You didn't call. And she scheduled your stuff. Didn't go to the. I stop. did. No, I sent. No, I sent a legal demand letter because it was fraudulent since day one. Everything stemmed from complete lies, perjured lies that came from Joe East. That was proven. Y'all didn't follow. The whole entire proceeding was sham. They didn't follow Mississippi law when it comes to commitment proceedings. They broke federal law, federal and state law. There was a legal demand sent to Communicare. They had seven days to respond. I was waiting on a response. They have no right, absolutely no right to do this. This is complete bullshit. Matt, I don't care. This is bullshit. I no. What, I understand where you're coming from. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Uh, nah. Right. Fuck no. Come on, put your hands behind your back. Let me read it. Let me read it first. Let me read it first. Let me read it first. Let me read it first before you take me into custody. All right. Let me end it. Let me end. I can't end it. Baby, come get my phone. Hey. Baby, get my phone for me. Yeah, I got it. I ain't gonna deliver. Promise.
Baby. And let me get my voice recorder out of my pocket. Can I get my voice recorder? Which pocket? I don't want that going to the jail. Baby, can we you come? Want, we don't want it in the jail. Can you get everything? Can you call an attorney too? Yeah, why are there so many cops here? I don't know. They're waking up the dogs. They're fucking. No. We just heard him hauling on the radio. Oh my that's, gosh. Okay. That's why. This is bullshit. Uh, 